Well, I'm gonna go outside. I gotta do some processing of the old body. Got the tractor started up. The old body and the chassis. I'm not using much off the chassis, but I try to recoup some bucks here. I'm going to uh, take the transmission and transfer case out. I know I can't use that transfer case, but front drive shaft, rear drive shaft, and then I can pretty much junk this thing. This thing, I just need this tack module in here, which is like, this controls for your gas pedal. So I need that doodad and the gas pedal. I gotta get the air, uh, bleh, air box, probably this module to hold the PCM, and whatever little bits that are worth something here. I'm gonna grab them out of here. And then I can process this cab under garbage. Well, here is my table of my bounty that I got from the truck. So not a lot of it I'm going to use, but I do have it there. So in case I need it for something, never know. Big things I wanted was that, my gas pedal, this. I mean, I got a radio, that's cool. I don't know if I'm using this expansion tank or the air filter, but if there's room, I'm gonna use that all. And some speaker wire and stuff, so, cool. Anyways, now I gotta dispose of that body and bring up the other chassis and work on it. So, there's a lot of stuff that's no good, but I'm gonna keep, like there is, well, not the cruise control, but like the gas pedal. Maybe I'll keep the bracket because who knows. Yeah, it's got the automatic. I, could, I don't have a lot of carbureted stuff anymore, but at least it's there if I need or want to use it. So I'm going to grab those. Still some good stuff on here. Like I'm not using the diff or anything, but there is like a brand new line on here. So I'm going to probably cut this and the line off. You can always repurpose it. The shocks, eh, I don't know, they're too mismatching, so I don't know what the deal is with that. Drive shaft, like I say, I'm keeping it, because it looks like it's new. I mean, it came from West Trans. I don't know when. I can't read the date on it, but, yeah. But, anyways, let's strip this down. I know this frame, my other frame is crunchy yet, but it's not this bad, so I don't feel terrible using the other one. <laughs> Uh, it's got a good steering yoke here. Oh yeah, yeah, lots of stuff. Anyways, gotta go pull all this junk off. This is, besides the transmission and transfer case, the uh, fruits of my labor. <laughs> I got a, uh, I didn't take the flywheel off because I think they were different. I use these with the LS's a lot of time. Again, I don't have a lot of small block stuff anymore. I have lots of small block stuff. I don't have a lot of small blocks. They all need to be rebuilt or something done to them. But I did keep, <clears throat> like the starter was brand new, so I took that. Like the fuel line stuff were new. Rubber hoses, like new, new. There's new brake line. Like, there's no point throwing away. There's nothing wrong with it, other than a few minutes of taking it off. I tried to unbolt them. They didn't want to unbolt, so I just busted them off. But it had a new rubber line in the back, all kinds of stuff. So I got the a steering and things like that. Ah, dang! I gotta go back. I gotta pop the front off of that. Um, a lot of time. If I use the GM column, I need this part. But I like these slides. So that's usually what I do to extend and stuff when I'm making things. So I need to grab that bit yet. But I'm waiting for uh, the kids to come out. So I'm gonna get them to file all this stuff in the garage for me, or in one of my sheds, I mean. And uh, I got a lot more on the other side. So they'll make a few bucks and I'll uh, get them to organize some stuff for me. Anyways, I guess uh, I can kind of get started back on this thing. 
Uh, the plan is going to be I'm going to lift this thing up. Uh, I'm going to see how my motor mount or my uh, body mounts look. Two of them I know I'm not happy with, so I'm going to redo those. But at least I'll have where they're supposed to sit so I can make a new set that pops on top of there. And then the back I have to do a bunch of work, but the you know the roundabout way where they're sitting is perfect so I just need to brace it all up I have to make one little mark so I know that where my body and stuff is in the back but I don't think a feather can see him if I did this anyways yeah more or less like the plates there now nah, you can't really see but anyways I got to make some gusseting and some braces there so those those mounts are good up there the two forward there by the toe board or the heel board, they're like, eh, I don't know. I don't think I like those. And then after that, I'm not sure what I'm doing here because this was just the braces were holding it up, which is going to be a similar process. I'll have all the slats going across, but they're going to be fastened down to this, so they're going to pull on that. So it may not be as good. So I might have to add some angle on top to hold it. I'm not sure. I don't know if it was really a structural thing that held the body on or not. But anyways, yeah. Let's get this thing lifted off and see what everything looks like. Well, I was going to bring this box to process it, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be happy with the mounts, the two of the mounts on my cab. So I'm just going to cut these things off super quick and uh, so I can repurpose them under the cab. Like I say, two of the body mounts, I am pretty sure I'm not going to be happy with. So uh, I'm going to quickly zip these off. Then I can junk this box. So I'm definitely not happy the way these ones came out. Because you can see they don't sit on the frame very much. It's not a lot of meat, then they don't sidestep or side saddle the frame very much. Uh, same with this side. It's kind of kind of cruddy. These, on the other hand, no. You don't even need much side mount because these bolts they're just just sneaking by the frame. So I have to clean this up. And I'll burn these in. I'll be able to cut these, taper them off at a better angle. Uh, these front ones are not good. This one kind of popped off its place, but. Essentially, I cut off those front mounts there before. So those, if I fit them over, so these ones, if I fit them over, uh, there's lots of contact with the frame. So, and if I feel I need, I can add some slivers onto the side. And then, and then I'm gonna make that cross mount quick to hold that up. And then I'm gonna swap out this transfer case and then there's a slight possibility this drive shaft is the same and I can use it. If not, I'll cut this one down. I don't know what size of yoke or anything the uh, other one uses. And I know lots of people had lots of ideas for the fuel tank, but I don't have to move this very much. Uh, so I'm not too worried. If anything, all I got to do is move this bracket ahead because I'm not using any of the EVAP. This will give me plenty of room. So I'll remove this move this ahead and essentially this cross brace it has to move ahead anyways to fix the shock so I move this ahead fuel tank bolts down like stock N no big deal now this one I might move back or I'm just gonna make a new shock mount I don't know what I want to do here yet I'm not too worried I gotta fix address this issue anyways but I'm gonna just replace all the brake lines I kinda like to do that Anyways, so I'll move this up, yada yada yada, and we should be uh, should be golden.
I was using this needle all over the frame that was pretty much knocking the worst of the rust off it everywhere. Uh, I shouldn't say rust, but it just flakes off the, the light scale that's on it. And then uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing beyond that. I wanted to get the worst of that off. I still want to fix up the front mounts because I'm not happy with those. And uh, get going on the back mounts too. I got to make up something back here. Well, not gonna lie, I didn't get a lot done today at all. I got the uh, front mounts welded. The secondary mounts are welded. Uh, I still need to trim the backs of them off. <clears throat> and that's only really a visual thing. I still gotta tear all the brake lines out and get the fuel tank remounted. But uh, I'll be danged if the weather's so nice we actually just start cruising. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't get a lot done. Uh, tomorrow, I'm hoping that I'm going to get the uh, rear body mounts done. It's kind of where I'm setting a goal. Until the evening, to which then we're going to probably go cruising again. So. so I have these mounts. I have to make up some gussets and brackets and stuff like that. So that is my plan for tomorrow hit and miss we might be helping trevor work on his uh his coupe that he wants to make kind of that spiel i was talking about before and uh roller are gonna help him we're gonna pull the motor out of his 46 so ah, eh, we got a lot of things going on there anyways i think that's about where i'm gonna leave this for tonight what do you say yeah? Should we go in? Yeah? Do you want to go in the house? Yeah. He's ready to go. Yep. <laughs> hey, buddy. All right. Till tomorrow. All right. So we got stuff all buzzed up here and things. The, uh, I've had a lot of questions. People ask why I didn't cut the frame to fix the wheelbase in the back, but it was mostly because the frame is the right length now. So, see essentially it's that. So it's just easier for me to fix my wheelbase just by moving my wheels up. Uh, I know some folks have commented if I screwed the pinion angle up. It's not drastic, it's a little bit. I'll fix it with the drive line when I make the mount. So the other bit I've had is people have asked why I moved the motor back. And, well I did it because it's kind of visually pleasing that the fact that it's tight into the engine bay. 
Uh, I just like lots of room in front of my, my motor for the rad. Um, you know, you could do something with a pusher fan, but then if somebody wants to put air conditioning in or something like that, there's just no room. It just makes for a big nightmare. For the bit of effort it takes to move it back, I don't know. I kind of do that with all my vehicles. I like the engine sitting back in like a stockish kind of a location. Me, I don't know. It's my preference. It's what I like to do. It's not the, no right or wrong to it. So I gotta run to the shed. I gotta get that transfer case because I think I'd like to do that along with those rear mounts tonight. That is kind of what I'm gonna set my goal at. Once the transfer case is off, I can kind of build my mount really quick. And uh, then we can look at the drive shafts and stuff like that. And then I should just rip all these brake lines off too. Get that out of the way. Okie dokie, cut those all out. I think I came up with an idea for the back. And I'm just gonna cut a piece of two by four and stick it into there. I think I have some outside here. I'll grab that. That'll probably be what I need. Dig it out. So I'm gonna try to. Uh, will that work? I don't know. Now I'm not liking that.
Hmm. I think I gotta let the body down and see what I got for room to work with there. Make something up. <clears throat> so it looks like this is what I got to work with. I gotta go from that angle and somehow fish that up. <clears throat> I have to support this to the bottom of the frame here a little bit. So this is all one collab piece. And then from there, I guess I can go right back to here just to stiffen it. Ookie dookie. Not ideal, but uh, we'll figure something out here. Okay, oak. It's gonna be my first attempt into there to add some strength to this. I'm not really happy with how this is all working out, but this is about all I can do. So uh, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna make another bracket that's gonna come up. I need to add some more meat back here to the, this plate. So I'm gonna scab weld this to this, and then I'm gonna make a fry gusset that comes from here down to this plate. So at least this plate has some some strength to it. We got the body back down. It's sitting nicely on all the mounts. I can't say I'm 100% happy with the rear mounts the way they turned out, but I mean, you can't deny that the uh, body's sitting on them and it seems okay. I guess time will tell. I'm just going to keep an eye on them. I might revamp them a little bit yet, but yeah, I guess for now, it is what it is. Um, I didn't really get around to a lot of stuff because I've been spending more time mucking around with everything around the uh, shop here. Kind of doing a little bit of work on that thing. I've been doing a bunch of helping with the kid on this thing. Though I don't have much to film and show for it. But, uh, regardless, we have made some progress, so. Hopefully it'll be a better video. I'll actually get the fuel tank mounted, and uh, I still have to do the front mounts on this thing too yet. We have the, the mid, or the front, the mid, and the back mount done. 
we still got to do this uh, rad cradle bit here, but yeah. Like I say, I don't feel this is a, I feel this is probably a B video when it comes down to it. <laughs> Anyways, again, thanks for watching guys. We'll, uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Ready? Are you ready?